Here we present our method of post-free distraction during hip arthroscopy using the pink pad device. A pedundal post is commonly used during hip arthroscopy to keep the patient securely positioned throughout the procedure. However, use of these posts has been associated with various complications related to the pedundal nerve and the perineum, which can lead to sexual and urinary dysfunction, skin necrosis, hematomas, and scrotal and vulvar tears. Because of these complications, post-free table options have begun to emerge. Use of these specialized tables is associated with a great deal of cost with high disposal fees. The pink pad presents a cost-conscious option of post-free distraction and does not require the purchase of any additional equipment. The pink pad is compatible with any currently used standard hip arthroscopy table. It prevents movement of the patient during the surgery through the creation of friction between the patient, the pink pad, and the bed. The pink pad is placed on top of the bed and the widest part of the pink pad is matched up with the widest part of the Smith & Nephew bed attachment. The most distal portion of the pink pad is first secured to the bed using the wide purple Velcro strap that is attached to the underside of the pad. The remainder of the pad is then secured to the bed using the bucky arms and the thin white Velcro straps that are also attached to the underside of the pad. A draw sheet is placed on top of the bed and safety straps are attached to the bucky arms. The patient is moved onto the pink pad, prepared under general anesthesia, and positioned so that the ASIS is in line with the widest portion of the bed attachment. The draw sheet is then removed from under the patient. After this step, the patient cannot be slid up and down on the pad. The patient's arms are then secured in position using tape and the safety straps. The patient's feet are secured in traction boots, and the traction boot on the operative side is secured with Coban. After positioning the patient in 10 to 15 degrees Trendelenburg with the leg adducted and the foot internally rotated, a C-arm is used to ensure that no artifact is present in the fluoroscopy field. The patient is then prepped and draped in a sterile fashion. Under fluoroscopy, an air arthrogram is performed to disrupt the suction seal. Maximum traction of at least one centimeter is then achieved by adjusting the distal traction arm. This is visualized under fluoroscopy. At this point, adequate distraction is accomplished to allow for visualization of the central compartment. The inner portal capsulotomy is started through the anterolateral portal and finished through the modified mid-anterior portal. Central compartment procedures, such as rim trimming and labral repair, are performed if indicated. Traction is then released and attention is turned to the peripheral compartment. A T-capsulotomy is performed using an arthroscopic blade, allowing for adequate access during osteochondroplasty. Complete cam lesion resection can be ensured through internal rotation of the leg, allowing for visualization of the anterior portion of the femoral neck. The hip arthroscopy procedure is then completed with capsular and portal closure. To prevent any potential complications while using the pink pad, surgeons and operating room staff should be aware of its limitations. Lighter patients may require more Trendelenburg during the procedure. Surgeons should be aware of this as more Trendelenburg may change the fluoroscopic view from what the surgeon is typically familiar with. In addition, the patient cannot be slid once on the pink pad to prevent any tearing or ripping of the pad. Anterior pelvic tilt may occur when adjusting the level of traction throughout the procedure. This should be corrected if recognized to maintain a consistent fluoroscopic view and to prevent any lumbar strain on the patient. Despite these limitations, the pink pad has multiple advantages. The device is easy to store at surgical sites and is easy to learn. It is also cost-friendly given its ability to be used with any standard hip arthroscopy table. Because there is no post present, a greater range of motion can be achieved, allowing for better access to more parts of the femoral neck and an improved view during cam resection. The ability to more freely internally rotate the leg allows for a better assessment of whether complete cam resection has occurred. The pad also eliminates the potential for any post-related complications while providing adequate distraction for visualization during central compartment procedures. Thank you for your attention.